Today we're at Rogues Gallery Comics and Games for free comic book day. And we're going to talk to... Comic book enthusiasts. Here today standing in line to get their free comic books. Uh, sir, what is your name? Terry Moore. Terry, uh, do we have your permission to use this video on the internet? Yes. Okay, how long have you been collecting comic books? Since, uh, 63. Do you still have those original comics? I have all the X-Men except for a gap when I was in the Navy. Wow, well, first of all, thank you for your service. Oh, thank you. Nice. Now, um, my, pa my mother and my uncles used to collect comics when they were kids, but it seems a similar story. Uh, parents always seem to throw their kids' comics away. You never had to deal with that? Nope. All right, you're a lucky man. So out of all the X books that you have, which is your favorite storyline? Um, I'd probably say... Uh, uh, the uh, appearance of Magic. Magic. So can you tell us a little bit about Magic and who that character is? Magic is Ileana Rasputin, and she's uh, Colossus' little sister. Uh, she, uh, Colossus calls her Snowflake. Um, she came to uh, live with the X-Men. Uh, she was kidnapped by a uh, demon, Blasco. Um, um, even though they try, uh, X-Men were able to re uh, retrieve her, uh, when she was in uh, the demon realm, she aged 14 years. Wow. All right. Now, there have been what, like three, well, technically like five X-Men movie made, or movies made around the X-Men. How do you feel about those adaptations to the comics? Do you think they're true or, or just Hollywood nonsense? The, the movies don't follow the comic books, and a lot of it's due to the fact that the uh, comic books do have ty kind of sway in and out. Uh, and it's kind of hard to follow the, the comic books with a movie. All right. Well, I've yet to see it. I've yet to see a, a, a movie follow a comic book. It's true. Comic books can get so deep and they're so rich. It's kind of hard to sum that up in a couple of hours. So I, I, I often forgive the movie studios for that. And I treat them as their separate universe. But I will say, for me personally, the Wolverine movies, Wolverine to me is like a really R-rated character. It's kind of hard to put that into a PG-13 movie. How do you feel about that? Um, that that's kind of true. He is, uh, he is uh, on the rough side. <laughs> and they, they don't really capture that in the movies. But, again, they're trying to sell it to kids, too. Yes. All right, Dorothy, do you have some questions that you'd like to ask? This is Tacos with D and E. Oh. All right. All right, she let me have this one. Oh, okay. Okay, so besides the X-Books, any other comics? You, oh, actually, what, uh, what comic books are you looking forward to getting today? I'm getting the two Marvel titles that are coming out today. And those are? Um, there's the uh, new uh, Avengers, and I forget what the other one is. Okay, speaking of the Avengers, the new movie just started. Have you seen it yet? Yes, I have. What did you think of it? I really liked it. All right, don't ruin it for me because I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Well, <laughs> but, get around and watch the bonus scene after the credits. Okay, well, Marvel always has good bonus scenes. Yes. Without ruining the movie, what can you tell us about it? Uh, it doesn't Wait, follow... It I'm does, sorry, hang on one second. I need my mi microphone stand. Come it, here. Go ahead. It, it doesn't follow the comic book. <laughs> okay. Dang, you ruined it for me. <laughs> Dag, nabbit. Why? Why? If you've read the comic book and it doesn't follow the comic book, then it can't have ruined it for you. I haven't read it twice. <laughs> Well, uh, you served in the Navy, and you didn't collect comics during that time. Did, were you still able to read? Because I know a lot of soldiers... I, I have been able to go back and fill in a lot of the uh, spaces that I missed. Oh, that's excellent. Um, that's the one thing good about trade paperbacks. Oh, yes. So uh, uh, you're more for the story. You don't collect so much for the value. No, I'm more of a reader. Yeah, I started... when I, I, I hate to admit this. When I started, I, I was in it for the story, but then... Uh, the mid 90s it started to become a little bit about the value and that almost destroyed the comic book industry in my opinion uh, you know they would release multiple covers they were trying to make a quick uh, like a cash grab in yeah. my opinion yeah how did you feel during that time did you feel like the, that was it for comic books not really because uh, there were still the people that would read it just for the read so alright I asked you earlier about your favorite X-Men but uh, what is your favorite comic book series the X-Men oh the X-Men uh, yes so, uh, is there any particular storyline that you preferred? I I really like to follow uh, any of the uh, storylines that Magic Magic is in. 
Okay. Or, or Shadow Cat. Sha- well, Shadow Cat is a good character. <laughs> just, they, they really didn't use her in the movies that much either. I was no. A little, no, they haven't. Well, maybe the next one. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time, sir. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you.